But if we have nothing else to do, we could. True. Okay, like I said, uh, that would be information you get later, so you can plan around that. Okay, cool. He is interested in rewarding you in the way you wish to be rewarded, which was to get information about what happened. So uh, when he finds out, he'll send word to you. This is probably something I should have done back in high side, but can I do like a gather information check about cults of Orcus and kidnappings? Yep. Uh, aid from Walter. Oh my sorry. god, <laughs> Walter is my diplomacy buddy. Cheeseburger, can I have a large cheeseburger? Uh, yeah, there are all kinds of rumors about the cult of Orcus, um, especially in the Vale, because that's what um, spawned the war, uh, that resulted in the Red Line Treaty. Um, you don't get anything substantive, like nobody has first-hand reports or whatnot, but everyone has some kind of, like, um, uh, urban legend about cultists abducting people and strange rituals and whatnot. Um, and it's always, uh, orc followers who are doing it. Hmm, okay. So we might want to go back to high side if we want to learn more about that. Or alternatively, uh, well, not much alternatively. I don't really have any good leads. Leads for what exactly? For learning more about that cult. Isn't that our main goal or what? what's our yeah. plan? The main goal is to get rid of the cult. Well, no, it was just more for me. Like, we already know they're kidnapping people along the border. We know that it's a bunch of horror. Um I was more wondering, are we worried about, because high side, we already know vaguely where the the goblin, uh, the crimson spear goblins are that had the hole that leads to, that leads to the underground. Well, Here so we, we know there. how to get back there, sort of. We'll probably have a bunch of trouble with the cave when we go back there, but um, we don't know how they operate. We don't know, like... If we know how they kidnap people, we can maybe stop them or try and uh, interrupt that operation. Like, we, we don't really know anything about them other than that they kidnapped us and we escaped. And vaguely were their bases. Okay, so that... Cool, okay. Um, so on, yeah, that's interesting. I feel like they have a huge network, and it seems like it's not even based purely on the orcs. It seems like there's drow and other slavers participating my one thought what's, is what's your can, basis for that uh didn't we find evidence of like the underdark um you know, we know that there are drown nearby somewhere along the path we went but that's just because we were deep underground my only thought is i don't maybe it's arrogance i don't think other people could have escaped the way we did if they were also captured by orcs I think you're probably right. I don't think there's going to be a lot of survivor's tales. Um, but they, maybe we can find witnesses, people who saw kidnappings, people who had attempted kidnappings but got away before they were abducted and taken down underground. Yeah, that I sort feel of like thing. the frontier is the best bet yeah. for that. I am wondering, though, if we, inve if we can find out what the tomb and the mission was from Brightvale, I wonder if that might lead to putting ourselves as bait in a way that well, doesn't get us immediately in the same position where we were. We we have no reason to believe that uh, his escapade had anything to do with us or with, with our uh, encounter. I mean, you're right, but if they're all slavers and they're all being, you know... I mean, I'm fine with pursuing the Bright Veil thing. That sounds interesting. There's a tomb. Um, but uh, I feel like if we want to learn about these orcs and their kidnapping, then we ask around at, along the frontier. 
So are we interested in like just the orc kidnapping, or are we interested in like the kidnapping stuff in general? Because I think, uh, Wait. probably just orcs because it's orcus, and I don't think they, okay. that god has a broad appeal. Um, but uh, maybe other people. Okay, no, I I was thinking too broadly then. That's completely fair. Um, I feel like the like the kidnapping is kind of just double edged too because there's not only the orcus, but I feel like the underdark and just like drow and slavers and all that. It's kind of yeah. kind of super broad. It's possible like, we'll hear about kidnappings from drow or something, and then it just turns out to be unrelated to the cult of orcus. Just drow kid or duergar kidnapping people for slaves. What about that book you have? Can you like linguistics check that or something? Uh, let me look at which book this is. Also, I'll be right back. So, what are you guys going off on a tangent about now? We're, we're um, figuring out what we're gonna do. But the I think the main one seems to be we're going back to the frontier to figure out, ask questions, perhaps see if we can find out where these kidnappings are happening. Anything we could get information on about these orcs. It's interesting because it's such a wide area. Are they he said in the Grohl area like the south side is mostly orcs doing the kidnapping from what we've heard? I think that's um, orc territory too, so because yeah, if you look I'm at it like this, it's orc, and then northwest is goblin, and then straight south is like all oh, hill giants. Fuck that place. Yeah, yeah you don't want to be here. on the south side of the river. If it is staggered like that. The goblins would probably engage in the slave trading. Well, we already talked about they're unlikely because of their stature and inability to really keep them. Yeah, goblins don't tend to partake in slavery just because it's difficult for them to maintain slaves. Which means... I mean, it's still close by. Like, it would have to... It would have to be the orcs that are primarily doing the kidnapping in general, right? Just because if it's not the goblins, drow are drow going to go up to the surface to do this? Like maybe raids, maybe, or they send like whatever slaves they have or people that they command to do. Usually it. it's Durgar, although I wouldn't know that in character. Why not? Because uh, I didn't have Jack for yeah, uh, knowledge of engineering. I know I was, I was being a dick. Um. I mean, it would make sense for it to be mostly orcs, because, I mean, the orcs work of, seem to be the main ones worshiping orcs. And if we do stop a kidnapping, are we going to try and... Because like... it seems like this is a whole coordinated, like, this is an enterprise. Well, yeah, it feels... It, it seems that way, because they're doing it all over the frontier. I mean, I don't... I also feel like there's just a shit ton of orcs, too. Yeah, which is why... Like I'm not against it. To be fair, I'm fully. I just want to like make sure I understand what the end goal is. And if you just want to fight orcs, I'm also for that too. Don't get me wrong. Um... But like, if we did capture orcs, are we trying to interrogate the orcs, or are we trying to just imprison them? Are we trying to let them go and follow them back? Well, do any of us speak orc? Yeah. Oh, you do. Yes. And I can okay. disguise myself as people. We we could... I, I don't know if you being good would allow interrogation. Probably not. But we could attempt a interrogation? question. <laughs> An interrogation by many steps. You see, GM, I'm not interrogating. My allies are. I'm just asking the questions. Not every interrogation has to be torture specifically. Yeah, that's true. There's a couple ways we can do it. I highly doubt, unless it's like some just grunts, that maybe those more dedicated to Orcas would tell us shit. Right. Do 
Hmm. I see lots of hordes in that I paragraph. I forgot about that. That is the letter. Yeah. Oh, is that for uh, the cause and effect one? No, we got a letter from the master. Oh, shit. You're right. March. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's kinda... not. Wait, wait, hold on. March East. That's not good. Oh wait, that's kind of that's... scary too. Oh, Hordes. oh wait, there's multiple of them. And marching east. Wait, if, if that's not the letter. That is the letter. I just put the oh, okay. Okay. the prefix for it um, in afterwards because the reason you didn't read it initially is no one read orc. Yeah, you're correct. Um, marching east, that's not good. That's got two hordes. It's actually kind of funny because I frequently tell people that orc is a stupid language to take because orcs won't talk to you and they're not really literary, so you don't get information like that from them, but this would be the exception. That's why I didn't give any information on character uh, builds because I didn't want to let things slip out <laughs> or give contrary advice um is moving into position in the north so Because we have the reach of Yanogu, the Null place, and there's orcs between them and Mytilene. But that's not probably where they are. So that'd be a huge distance, and we'd have to cover the Elven lands. To... So they could just be very high north, like just here. Yeah, the Triangle Strife is mostly just wilderness. You could hide an army in there with no difficulty at all. That's not what you want to hear. And if you want to metagame it, uh, the maze is on there, so you know where the starting point is. Yeah, that's true. We do have a map to the maze. Uh, still have no idea what the map to the maze means. But, um... The map of the fortress. I, I don't know. North is... Con I don't know. I, I feel like there's something here. There in particular? I, I don't know. Um, That's where the Lord's I, son went missing. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like there's a tomb. It's close to Ridgevale. It's north uh, where the second horde could possibly be around. I, I don't know. I feel like there's something here. There's an X on the map. Oh. Uh, We, we gotta right. start. check that out if you want. Yeah, if you feel like the Lord's son's kidnapping is something we want to pursue and it leads into the orcs, we can go check it out. I don't know. Like, it's, a, it's something. It's a lead, I suppose. It's the last location. We don't really know a lot about these kidnappings in the first place, so having a starting point is always good. Yeah, it just, I don't know. I feel like the north, it can't be that high north because then you're going into a different. Like there's a there's a cut here. It ha it has to be at least this high. And I, I would think, think Ridgevale, but we got a tomb here. Yeah, getting an army across the river is obnoxious. You would have to take Silport to get a bridge across the river. Yeah. 
and you'd have a hard time marching an army past Lonefield without taking it first. And I'm sure that's pretty well defended considering the ease. Yeah, Silport is a town. It's not something the orcs are going to be able to take easily. There are thousands of people there. A horde of orcs is generally only 100 or 200 uh, orcs. Oh, okay. You got the Satyrx. He's got a Corp yeah. Blade now. <laughs> Masterwork Corp Blade. Oh, even better. Oh, easy day, easy day. Big dick, big dick energy. We're going to kill lots of things now. Oh yeah, that crit range of 1820, technically 1620. Beautiful. Very nice. Why is it technically 1620? Luck. Oh, as in your... Okay, got it. Okay. As in so if he two. rolls a 16, he can luck it up? Yes. Do we want to start in Brightvale then, I guess, as our, our first... Sounds like a plan. Set. Yep. Do we want to start with Kalith first? So we can know who... Because we, we know the... Uh, Earl at Hossie. We can find out who... Uh, do, uh, we should probably get the name of that son. Um, young Master Kluzer's, uh people that convinced him to leave the, the training school was. And we can find out what... Uh, mission they took. Yeah, finding out what they were searching for in the first place would actually probably be really helpful. <laughs> yeah, we might need to backtrack that. Because the disappearance might be related to that. I don't know if maybe whatever they were looking for had something to do with the disappearance, or maybe it led into the Interdark or something. Yeah, unclear. So I guess we could start there. What is it, Calif? Yeah, Calif and... The paladin was at a school of elite swordsmen and knights. He didn't just lose one of his major... Uh, well, well, not major. If he didn't just lose a student, I might want to see if I can enroll. I guess, Brown can you it. ask the uh, the noble for maybe like a, a written letter to, to meet him? Say, like, I'm trying to find what happened to your son, how he died. So can you get me into the school to talk to this guy? That's not reasonable. It would be exceptionally reasonable, except that you don't have that information right away. Oh, that's true. Yes, we'll have to wait a few days. Yeah, you guys, unless you're going to hang around and grow for a few days while he uh, makes arrangements to have a speak with Deadcast, you'll probably be back wherever you're heading. Um, you know that he was training in Calith, so you could go up to Calith. Um, and find well, out. We don't know that because we know we only learned that he was going. He was looking for a tomb because, um, because of the speak with dead. So if we don't know something weird's going on, we would just. Well, the very first thing he said when I brought up his son was that he should be, in, in, Calith when I told him the story. So we know about Calith before, he shared everything. We just didn't know. Him prior and there. and you could use that as oh well where is he in Calith. Uh, we're heading up that way. We can ask some questions while we're there. Sure. Yeah, yeah that's true. We are going to Calith on the way to Ridgeville. And if he knows you're going to Calith, he can send a message to the uh, the Swordmaster in Calith so that that could be relayed to you later. It's all coming together. Fair it enough. It works. It works. Yeah, I only gave you the information because I knew that I would forget it if I didn't say something, and then we'd be basically doing the opposite of what we're doing now, is we don't have the information, what are we going to do? Yeah. So if you guys want to travel to Calith, you can definitely do that. Fair. Our... Is our caravan of victims empty now? Or are they staying in Grohl? Yeah, they'll, they everyone will stay in Grohl. There. 
Cedric is the only guy that was unwanted. Poor Cedric. Why was Cedric unwanted? No one asked to come as, as opposed to Clown and Walter. No, it was just no one asked him to come with us. Actually, you guys did. He said no. Oh. You, you each were like, yeah, we should bring these guys along. And he was like, yeah. I... I'm a carpenter. I don't want to fight orcs. I had enough. Yeah, I, I, I can hold my own in a fight if I need to fight, but I'm not looking for a fight. Clown is looking for a fight. He's basically a mercenary at this point. There. That is we come across the dragon again. Walt is going to rough him up. Yeah, and Walter is just easily swayed by your influence. If you tell him that you're going to go and do glorious deeds, he wants to come along and do glorious deeds. Exactly. You found the perfect path. We will, we will write our path in the books of history. Uh, right, in the no right in the fiction section, young adult <laughs> romance novels. No, don't bring up the romance novels again. <laughs> oh, the romance novel, I almost forgot! <laughs> Bonds of Fiction. That's, that's going to be the name. Sorry, what uh, was the name of the novel? Bonds of Passion. Oh, God. It's like Fifty Shades of Grey. But like... Apparently. Let me just write homoerotic fanfiction. So, so this, this, is, this is going to be the this is going to be like the the um the the climax of of the book is just just going to be like this this uh inspired by true events um uh situation in a river where they're they're under fire from from goblins with bows and they're they're trying to get a bunch of innocents across the river right and so they they tie the rope to themselves. And 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 they and, and it's it's this big it's this big dramatic ordeal, right? And and uh, it's it's inspired by true events, and uh, <laughs> they they end up getting washed down the river together, and then, and that's that's when the book really picks up, is because they're they're stranded in the wilderness uh, for 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 months, and and they learn so much about each other, they they, ex they explore each other in such such new ways. <laughs> You're fucking insane. <laughs> uh, are the names at least made up for using? Yeah, well, the, the names will be thinly made up. It'll it'll be it'll be a Asterix and and uh, 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 Caden. Oh god. <laughs> I guess you need to start uh, getting ranks in profession novelist, I suppose. He doesn't need it. Look at his bonus. True. It's an oral tradition. <laughs> you just you just write it all down for you to speak to the public. It's all going to let that sink in as he puts names on the map. Yeah, fuck. I just want to put the names on the map so I can uh, reference places. It's obnoxious to go through and name everything in uh, yeah. in Hexographer. Like, you type the name in, and I, I don't know if you've ever watched the Matt Colville stream, but if you click on something that is text, I think uh, text is the only thing you can really move. But if you move the cursor too fast you get ahead of the text and then you just drop it. So it's like fucking seven tries to get it to a point where it sits nicely. So after naming a bunch of stuff, I'm just like, I'm done. Good enough. These are the places we're going. It works. It works. I guess how long will it take for us to uh, travel to Caliph? Exactly as long as it takes for him to write that first chapter and read it to you. Hey John, if I uh, if, if I if I write a segment of this book, can that count as a journal entry? <laughs> sure. You know that means he has to Let's read it, right? 
Is that going to be your fate points right now? You actually writing a homoerotic novel? <laughs> Forcing John to read your gay fanfiction? <laughs> Truly a fate worse than death. I would just like to state for the record that there is no way of you determining whether or not I read it. I'll just give you the fade point. <laughs> is this what you thought your legacy would be in this game, Adorix? No, not at all. It's better, isn't it? <laughs> totally. I'm glad you agree. Every so often, I'm just going to ask how my novel is selling. <laughs> oh, so you're immediately going to sell it. Is it going to be like a series? Yeah, I, it, you know, it depends on how it sells. If, if it really takes off. That That is true. You do have enough for a good starting book here. And you got the suspense as we go up. Yeah. The housewives all over him, Caldera, would thank you at the end of your journey. You know that? He's going to be on billboards. <laughs> the Emperor of Himkaldur himself. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> this we'll is truly read your art. gay porn. Exactly. One of the no, no, will do. it's not porn. It's, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very deep and profound uh, tale that, that, uh, that rings true and in, 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 uh, uh, is based off, off real events. You really love that real events part. It's based off real events, and uh, and and it, it just it speaks to the, the the depths of the human soul, of of the of the sentient soul or sapient soul. You, you can't you can't have you know there, there's there's non humans. This we got we got to target a broad audience. Maybe uh, maybe maybe uh, Kaylin uh, Caden rather uh, might be a dwarf. You know, just like uh, just just broaden the appeal. <laughs> Gotta hit the quotas in your in your romance book. Exactly. I already know we're going to have a quest here where Manfrey is kidnapped and we have to rescue him by a crazy fan that wants to know how it <laughs> ends. Just uh, Stephen King's misery it's, on, on Manfrey. It's the uh, fan from Oblivion. Just a really annoying prick. that has been a very productive session, guys. <laughs> We've done so much. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's, it's it's one of our humorous sessions, that's to be certain. Okay, so you guys are going to travel up through the country to Calif? Yeah. Seems yeah. like to be the first start. Um, Manfrey said he's from Tawny, right? Yeah, he's from the Tawny area. So it's, what, three days to get to Tawny? Day to get to Tarek, two days to get to Tawny. Did you want to say hi or nah? Fuck him. I mean, yeah, I'd say hi to my family. Or uh, tell, tell them about our, our uh, harrowing journey. Well, you uh, don't tell them, just have And your gay porn? porn? Uh, no, you know, I, I'm not, I'm still workshopping that. You know, I, I can't, uh, can't, can't let the spoilers out. Would your father approve? Of where your life is going. <laughs> probably not. Almost <laughs> certainly not. They probably look down on me with disgust and disdain. Oh, you're used to that by now, I'm sure. But I know I have a destiny. <laughs> and it is to be the greatest author him Calder has ever seen. I that might be it. It's you know, it's all about finding your destiny. Are you guys going to push your way through um, the gaps, or are you just going to stop in the town uh, of each day? One town uh, each day sounds fair. Yeah, I don't see a reason why we speed, like, you know, speed like hell. No, it's just... We know that they're mobilizing, I guess, but we don't know what the time scale is for that note. Yep. Uh, just Daltus and uh, Gower aren't very far apart, and Gower and... Uh, Saban aren't uh, very far, far apart, so 
you could just jump from Daltus to Saban if you wanted to go uh, super crazy with travel. I mean, might as well, I guess. That's the same distance from Tony to Daltus. Yeah, and quite Probably. honestly, we there's only so much regaling of our own past we can tolerate, so the faster we get the Kalith, the better. Well, it's 37 miles, so it would mean you would be camping out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Whereas it's only 20 miles to get to uh, Gower. It's how much in a day? Um, You can do 24 without any problems. You can force march 27 for free, and then you make checks after that. Okay, so it won't really affect our speed at all then. Okay, yeah, we, we can stop in Gower. Okay, uh, so you guys get to Calith. It takes you like a week of fucking around to do all the shit. <laughs> yeah, it's been 12 days since you got to high, um, high side. Oh, oh wow. Oh, yeah, that's true. What's true? No, it just didn't seem like it would take that long to get there, but then I realized, yeah, it's like four days just to get to Grohl. So, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, you were anticipating an eight-day trip just to go to Grohl and come back. And that was before making the journey through uh, the Vale. suppose what do we uh, now that we're here what do we are we gonna go attempt to go now that we're here do we have a plan yeah I, I assume we go to the school right or try to find where he trained since in character we don't know anything about his trainer well yeah we know his name the the son's name uh trainer's name oh the trainer's name well i um, i mean it is also a day away from ridgevale we could just talk to the grass patch clan then come back, that's two days. Maybe we'll get the information by then. Or if not, we can worry about it later. Why would yeah. the information require waiting two days? No, what he's saying is at this point, you don't know about the uh, uh, Speak with Undead, because you haven't got the message ah, yet. Fair. So if you go to Ridgevale, yeah. and then circle back to Calith, that'll give you two days to get the message. Makes sense. What were we going to Ridgevale for in the first place? I forgot. The halfling you had mentioned, he was a Grass Patch clan member, which ah. is based in Richvale. Makes sense. I guess if we, if we want to go to Ridgevale then, then just hop, skip, and we jump. Sounds yeah, good. Ridgevale's another long march, but you can make it in a day. I suppose we start harassing any halfling we see. Are you part of the clan? Are you part of this clan? <laughs> It'll probably not be effective since apparently they operate outside Ridgevale. But yeah. Do you know where this clan is? I'm racially profiling you right now. <laughs> Let me open up my uh, Ridgevale document so that you can racially profile the right people. <laughs> the right people. I assume we just ignore everyone above like four feet. Yeah, that would be one way of doing it. Makes it easy. The deputy mayor of Ridgevale is a Kender. Is that is that a separate race in your games, or is that the same as a halfling? Yeah, it's the same as a halfling. Nobody would call okay. themselves a halfling. Makes sense. You stoutling. 
there's a small district of Kender uh, that makes up one of the large farming co-ops in the area. The grass plants settled this area shortly after the founding of Ridgevale. There are no Kender who are not affiliated with the grass patch clan. Do I know this? You can roll a knowledge Maybe. local. Okay. Where did you learn that from? I pulled up your Ridgevale world anvil. <laughs> Yep, that's what it's there for. It's very helpful. Plan on spending like the next 20 years detailing everything like that. Damn, that's a strong local though. Okay, yeah, you would know that. Okay, but it tells us that uh, most of the Kenders will know or about the Grass Patch Clan, so you don't need to scare every single one that you see. Um, you can just head to this district. Yeah, you could do that, or you could go talk to the Deputy Mayor. That's true. Is that the Nalotham? Uh, I don't know what a Nalotham is. Uh, Mayor Nalothal Alasham? That I butchered the name of? No, because that would be the mayor, not the deputy mayor. Oh, because the two different guys. Autumn Sung Anster. Okay. I wrote Anvil has failed me. My meta knowledge has failed me for the last time. <laughs> not the last time. I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> There's a lot in Ridgevale. I don't know. <laughs> we go here so often. Like, <laughs> Yeah, so much has sprung out of Ridgevale, but realistically, it was just the settlement that I started a couple of games in just because it was conveniently located, but it ended up being one of the points of the triangle and the focus point of a bunch of adventures. It's also set up perfectly um, for the Goblin Tomb adventure, so because there's goblins right there. Yeah, it makes sense. It's just It's, it's interesting. Um, I'm going to look at Manfrey. Like, think you can handle this? Handle talking to the halflings? Deputy Mayor Autumn Sung Anster, I will give you the Grass Patch Clan patch we got from the body. Would you like to handle this? The giving of bad news. Uh, sure. Sure, I can do this. Do you know what we want? Uh, that we want to know why he got there, or how he got there, or if they know? Yes. Okay. And where where did we find him exactly, or vaguely? In the Underdark, like being sucked to death by Yeah, but like where, where geographically is that? Way south, down by the Fortress of Orcus, in Vangernash. In Vangernash. Oh, okay, so somewhere over here. Oh, F.O., okay, makes sense. Although, I don't think we know exactly where... No, we're you don't. I'm, I'm telling you, that's the general area on the map. You guys have now traveled through the Underdark. You you twist and turned all over the place, so you're not really far how, sure how far you covered. But once you got to the surface, uh, Kalen's an expert navigator. He can get you back to that point, and with a final location you guys can tri can triangulate where the cave entrance is and mark it on the map wonderful all right so i'll uh is there like a mayor a town hall or where do, where does one meet the mayor um you would generally go to you're going to the mayor or the deputy mayor deputy mayor uh, the deputy mayor would normally be in his estate. It's one of the large that... buildings on the east side of uh, Ridgeville. All right, I would go there. Um, is there guards outside? Anyone I can talk to? Butler? Yeah, there would Not be a doorman. Door. All right, um, I will say I have uh, um, questions pertaining to one of the one of the Kender folk here. Um, 
I think they, they they seem to have met an unfortunate end, and uh, I would I would like to see if we can uh, sort out um, who's who this belonged to, whose uh, family member um, uh, was was tragically lost. Okay. Uh, so they uh, will show you in to meet with um, Autumn Song. And uh, you go into his study and uh, he stands up, which actually makes him shorter, and comes out from behind his desk and uh, says, what can I do for you? I'll say, it, so we, it's like a, a patch I have, or what do, what do we have of the guy? It's a patch from a cloth, I think. You're just a grass patch, clan patch. That's all I got. Yeah, I'll I'll uh, hand that over to him and say uh, we found one of your. Uh, is it a clan? Is it uh... clan members? Yeah, we we found one of your clan members um, quite a ways down in the uh, in in caves. Uh, okay. Near... Do you know Your who that is? Ragnarish. I I don't. I was I was hoping to learn, and I more particularly I was hoping to learn how they ended up there. Unfortunately, uh, Kender are quite prone to wanderlust, so um, it would take some significant uh, effort to find out who is missing and who is unaccounted for. I would say probably twenty percent of the clan here is off wandering around so um you definitely uh do an accounting but at the moment uh without more information we can't really identify who that might be so this this can't be used to place it with a particular family or uh well something the, more narrow the patches are usually given out uh as a coming of age um emblem so they're very common particularly in halflings or kender who are uh, taken by wanderlust um, and they're yet generally young enough that it's still a badge of honor for them uh, they normally wear it on some kind of sash or something that is transferable uh, so like I can tell you that uh, that that particular um, uh style is uh part of the uh farming group but beyond that i couldn't narrow it down uh, i'm sure even that'll be of some help uh, thank you very much so i guess from there we would try and gather info about any uh uh kender farmers who have uh and I guess we don't know how old this is. Do we? Do we have a time of, or like a a guess on how long the body was been uh, was there? Um, I think you were only a couple of days behind him. Yeah. So, someone... like he was completely uh, masticated, but he wasn't like rotten or anything. So, someone who's uh, or some basically um, any farming families who have had a. Uh, young, recently of age, uh, Kender, um, who had ventured south. Um, so we gather information on that? Yep. Still a plus two, 34. Okay. Um, it's actually plus three. Oh, no. Minus uh, five. Minus five is, yeah. Um, yeah, you ask around and there are currently nine, uh, male halflings that are, um, uh, unaccounted for. From farming families? Yep. Goddamn. Uh, and how many of those ventured away south? Unfortunately, Wanderlust doesn't always uh, 
give bearing and direction. So fair enough. They tend uh, to follow uh, what interests them, and uh, somewhere far as far as uh, Vangernesh is uh, is extreme. Uh, I don't even know how they, how or why they would cross the river to get down there. Well, but not they're in Rag- Ragernesh, but in the vicinity. Yeah, um, it is possible the he was venturing in the Underdark, and uh, just got lost down there, and that's where he ended up. Is way south. That would be many days' journey, regardless of how he got there. All right, uh, that's not very helpful. And so I suppose that that a family member wandering off and never being seen again is really common for halflings then? Um, never being seen again is uncommon, but it's not uncommon for them to disappear for months, sometimes even for years, uh, following their wanderlust. Uh. Kendra are very family oriented, so they frequently send letters and uh, they always return, assuming that uh, nothing happens because they come back to their family. Most of the uh, the structure of Kendra society is uh, tears within the uh, the family business. So of those nine, are there any that haven't been heard back from? Or is that the nine? Uh, of the nine, um, you're talking about a very short window here because you only discovered it a couple of weeks ago. So of the nine, like six of them but haven't... he would have had to have... To get down there, he would have had to have left another couple of weeks ago at the bare minimum to get down there, right? That's what I'm saying. Is it, uh, Of the nine, like six of them haven't sent word in over a month. All right. Well, down to six at least. <laughs> Yeah, a little closer. I don't know how helpful that is. Just because I'm looking at the time, and I know we usually end on the dot, how much longer do we want to play? Actually, Uh, I meant to ask that. I've got nothing to do tomorrow. I gotta work. I'm kind of falling asleep right now. Fair nope, enough. that's fine. This is an excellent place to stop if we're uh, going to call it for here. That was a lot of fun. That it was. was it was funny as fuck. <laughs> it was. You got a lot really of uh, a lot of footwork done, for sure. Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, where, where, where we head to next session. I'm curious well, to what are you guys happen. interested in doing next session? I think investigate the orcs and disappearances seem to be our main thing, right? Yeah, that Seems to be. if if the tomb is still a thing that they're investigating in Bright Vale, that would be interesting. Uh, yeah, figure out what happened to the noble son, what happened to the halfling. Those seem to be two good hooks. Okay, well, we can uh, set up the tomb for uh, next session. You can follow that lead, and then after that, we can uh, figure it out as we go. Sounds like a plan. Okay, any questions before I take off? Yes, sir. Thanks for the session. None for me. Okay, catch you later. Later. You guys have a nice.